If you're tired of your emails landing in spam, setting up Google Postmaster tools should be your first step. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that in under three minutes, even if tech stuff isn't your thing. After helping scores of clients configure their accounts, I have perfected a straightforward approach anyone can follow. Today, I'll walk you through the exact steps I use to set up Postmaster tools quickly so you can start monitoring the critical metrics that determine whether your emails land in the inbox or disappear into spam. Some of you might be wondering, what is Postmaster Tools? Postmaster Tools is a free tool from Google that helps you comply with Gmail's requirements for sending emails to Gmail accounts as described in their email sender guidelines. Whenever a client struggles with low email open rates and deliverability, the first thing I do is set up their Google Postmaster Tools account and check their spam rate IP reputation, domain reputation, and authentication, as these are the most common factors that influence deliverability. If any of them are negatively affected, your emails will land in the spam folder or worse, get blocked, and therefore your email open rates will be low. With mailbox providers like Google Outlook and Yahoo getting stricter with their spam filters, monitoring these metrics is essential, especially if you use email marketing to generate more customers or clients or for offering better customer support. Let's go to my laptop where I'll show you how to set it up in three minutes. First, log into your Google account and then go to postmaster.google.com. A pop-up will appear asking you to get started. Click on get started here and add your domain name here. I mean, even if this pop-up doesn't come for some reason, you can click on the red plus sign here and the same pop-up will appear again and you can add your domain name. Don't add the HTTPS or the www, just add the domain name .com. For example, I'm going to use one of my own domain names for which I've never set up Google Postmaster Tools. It's called bigoutreach.com. Just type the domain name like I did here and click next. Once you do this, you'll be asked to verify the ownership of your domain by adding the TXT record they give you to your domain's DNS configuration. Just copy this record, then go to your domain name registrar This could be GoDaddy, Namecheap, Cloudflare, or another company you bought the domain from. Then go to the DNS setting page of the domain you want to add to Postmaster Tools and click Add New Record. Choose the type as TXT record. For name, use at. And paste the record we just copied into the value field. For some registrars, this will be called the IP address. For TTL, choose half hour or automatic. If you're using another registrar like Namecheap, they'll usually have an automatic option. And then save your new record. Don't worry if this looks like technical gibberish. You don't need to understand what it means. Just copy and paste exactly what Google provides. After that, return to your Google Postmaster Tools account and click Verify. If you've done it right, you'll see that the domain has been verified as it is showing me here. If you go to the domain Immediately, you won't be able to view your domain reputation, IP reputation, spam rate, and other metrics. Immediately, most of the time, it normally takes 24 to 48 hours to see this data. However, for some, it might be immediate. Once you set this up, you can also share access with other people. Just go back to the home page and click this three dotted line and go to manage users. and then click the plus icon here and add email addresses of the people you want to invite. Then click next. 
And if you're done and other people on your team or people you outsource will also be able to view the metrics. Now that you successfully set up your Google Postmasters account, you might want to know how to read the data and fix problems fast. Check out this video where I show you how to use this tool and what metrics like spam rate, IP reputation, domain reputation, encryption, authentication, and feedback loops mean, and the action steps you need to take to improve or maintain deliverability and open rate.